have a very special treat. All right, so today I received some of my Hilti tools. Now, unfortunately, this did not come in an art box. This came, uh, the kits came separately, uh, individually wrapped. I was hoping for an art box, but it, it's okay that it's not. Unwrapped one just to feel it, just to see how, what I think, first impressions, and I love it. The way that it feels is phenomenal. So let's just get to it and un unbox this. Like I said, it does not come individually. Uh, it does not come in an art box. This is how it's received, which, which is okay. So like I said, I, I already undid one just to see how it feels. First you get a Hill T tool bag. Which, yes, the red and black. This, uh, uh, when it comes to the type of red, is it's very vibrant and I love it. Uh, and so, yeah, it looks it looks really good. All right, so the one that I unwrapped already is the hammer drill, 12 volt hammer drill. This thing is awesome. So one thing that you will, if you ever get this, you will realize is that you don't really feel the line between the rubber molding and the actual body of the tool. Like that is almost perfectly smooth. It seriously is awesome. It's like uh, even the, the seam between the clamshell, you really don't feel it. But these tools are seriously awesome. All right, so next you get the, uh, the next I got is the quarter inch hex impact. Of course, it, uh, like everything, it comes with a warranty and instructions. Look at that. Well, that is a thing of beauty. Of course, that's metal. I get the entire housing is metal wrapped in, and then uh, this is uh, in, uh, in molding. But like that is gorgeous. I love the way that feels in my hand. Like like that is that takes some incredible engineering right there to to create that kind of a. To create that kind of a seam like that, that's awesome. All right, then you get a charger. Which good, I'm glad their charger is not huge. Uh, what's what's the model number for this? Uh, uh, I guess it's C4-12-50. It is a 4 amp charger, 50 watt. Input is 50 to 60 hertz. That's awesome. Then you get two batteries. Ooh, oh, the, oh that, the entire bottom, the entire battery is a rubber uh, molding around it. Besides right here, let's see, how do you, oh, 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 they're very good. Like, uh, just uh, instead of having an extra button to find out what your uh, level status is, you just push the, you just push that. It's a double, uh, double purpose button. So you put that like that. Battery is dead, of course. I don't know how to put that. We're actually going to put that on charge right now. Yeah, that battery is dead. Let's put this on charge right now. You get the second battery. Like, like the, the detail of this battery is, it's amazing. I'm mean, like, they have Hilti engraved into the molding like that. That is like, the entire thing is, besides the front, is, it's a rubber molding. That's awesome. And then last but not least, you get a uh, two, you get a uh, belt clip. We get the uh, 12 volt brushless recip saw. Ooh, that thing is beefy. That thing is beefy. Of course you get uh, instructions. Oh, look at that. And uh, just, yeah, the you, this does not pivot. This is uh, set as is. It is set as is. That is awesome. Alrighty, let's 
let's actually go over let's go over the details of this what does this one not come with a belt clip that's got to come with a belt I, I think I may let's go through the details of this first the I, like seriously this is insane the entire bottom is a rubber molding around the edge of the sides. The only that's the front is not. That's it. A double feature button. That's seriously awesome. All right, so let's go through the specs of the hammer drill really quick. Chuck is plastic. It is a 15 point chuck, and the drill, uh, the screw drill and hammer feature is on its separate clutch. All right, so the specs are actually on the bottom of the uh, of the tool on the base. So this is SF2H-A. Uh, the on speed one it goes to zero to four hundred RPM. On speed two it goes to zero to fifteen hundred RPM. And it does not say uh, impacts per minute. Let's see. And yeah, like I said, just that's how you get to know the instead of a separate button that's that's genius oh and there's two led lights on the base instead of underneath the the chuck or uh inside or or in the chuck there's two of them on the base so i cannot wait to test this out and of course the battery is dead right now so i can't judge the noise on its power so next is the quarter inch hex impact. Now this thing looks like it's a beast for a 12, uh, for a 12 volt. Now the model for this is SID 2-A. Uh, it is a 0 to 2500 RPMs. Now there is no speed setting, it's just a variable speed trigger. And lights on the bottom as well. But let's find out what the impacts per minute is and the inch pounds of torque so if you got this if you got this as a kit it would be hundred and ninety dollars it would come with a bag charger the impact and two 2.6 amp hour batteries so the blow uh impacts per minute is three thousand four hundred and ten quarter inch hex variable speed trigger maximum speed is 2500 rpms and the inch pounds per torque isn't that much it's 973 so, but the components inside might help it perform the task better to where it won't malfunction during the, uh, during the task. But we're going to put that out to the test to see how really powerful and what the limits of this can do. And of course, 12 volt system. Now I'm curious if you, uh, if this just slides in. No, you actually have to. You do have to do that, then it stays in. All right, so that's the specs of the Hilti quarter inch hex impact. All right, so the model number for this, I believe it is SR2-A12. It is a brushless motor, uh, 12 volt system, uh, zero to 3000 strokes per minute, and the stroke length is five eighths. You know, five eighths is standard for a single handed re reciprocating saw. And so, yeah, you're really, for any brand for this size, you're really not going to get, like, a one-inch stroke, uh, stroke length. That's a little crazy. So, but let's, let's we are going to test this out. Uh, I'm hoping that I have time to today. I'm going to wait for the battery to, to charge up and see what we can do. So already, this has been the unboxing and a little demonstration of the Hilti tools. I do apologize once again for not having the batteries fully charged during these tests. You guys know a fully charged battery equals to a lot more power. And unfortunately, I don't have the time to do that. So we are going to do a lot more of these tests uh, in an upcoming video. And uh, Milwaukee is actually going to be versing these and uh, see which one will prevail in doing certain tasks. Now, 
Yeah, I just wish, I wish that these batteries were full. But it's okay though, more videos are coming. And so that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.